Psalm 34. Psalm 34. From verse 19. I was trying to catch some rest when this scripture just came to my spirit. And I believe that this will serve as a compass and as a guide to what the Spirit of the Lord will be doing tonight. Psalm 34 and verse 19. The Bible says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Not few, many, although a righteous person, the power of God is coming on that woman. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just pouring oil on that. I don't know if it's a young lady. And I'm seeing the Lord is, this scripture is for that lady. There's no limit to what God is able to do in an atmosphere many are the afflictions so we're dealing with affliction here the main subject is not the affliction the main subject is the person bless you ah our mommy is here hiding somewhere i have to honor her dr mrs onu thank you so much and then i see a number of people from just nathaniel is there with his dear wife thank you please forgive me just um if my eyes can find you, will honor you. Praise the Lord. It is amazing that even the righteous can be afflicted. The Bible did not say many is the affliction now. The Holy Spirit is, oh my God. There are several people. Godwin is here, Pastor Godwin and his dear wife. And then the pastor of living faith, Samaru here. Honor you, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. A righteous man being afflicted many are the afflictions of the righteous now that's a very disturbing statement because you would expect that the righteous should never even have to be afflicted are we together now many it would have been enough disaster to say the, the righteous is afflicted but he said many are the afflictions of the righteous that's the first information that righteous men can be afflicted that means affliction has nothing necessarily to do with righteousness please listen very carefully many are the afflictions of the righteous and then the second part of it says but the Lord Every time the Bible talks about the Lord, find peace first before you find. Whatever follows after that statement, the Lord is always a miracle. But the Lord delivered him out of them all. The key word is all. Many are the sicknesses, infirmities, pain of the righteous but the Lord being a righteous man is not necessarily about doing right alone it's about the covenant that has invested God's grace upon your life that God is obliged to defend listen carefully the Bible did not say many are the afflictions of the righteous and on crying the Lord delivered him the Bible says the Lord will arise as an act of his honor to the righteous, deliver him, and insist that he's completely delivered. Are we together? Many are the afflictions of the righteous. You know, many times when believers have maybe infirmity, bills, all kinds of things, we sometimes are sad not because of the challenges but because we believe we are the righteous are we together now 
But the Bible comforts us here by telling us that God, the God of the heavens, has the interest of the righteous at heart. It's important to understand this. That by the wisdom, the power, the jealousy, and the grace of God, there is always a way of delivering him out of them all. Are we blessed? It was the psalmist that said, I will lift up my eyes, follow me carefully, unto the hills. Then he said, from whence cometh my help? So he's talking about help here. You can get help from many, many, many means. But he says, my help cometh from the same word again. The Lord is his personal name, Yahweh. The Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. I hope you know that it's not only the heavens and the earth that God can make. God can make men. God can transform men. Hmm. My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. It is a powerful advantage to be a believer. Look at me. Because there is an array of a supply of mysterious spiritual arsenals. Being a believer is not just about making heaven. It's not even just about subscribing to the government of Christ. It's that you now belong to a kingdom that is mysteriously powerful. Sustaining abilities and strategies that are only limited by the wisdom of the Christ. Now, God is not wise. He is the fountain of wisdom. That revelation should scare you. If God is wise, it means he has to depend on an information outside of himself. But it is within his power to fabricate infinite strategies to see that a believer testifies. Hmm. Powerful revelation. We are limited. That is the reason why sometimes we have to outsource intelligence. But God is the fountain of wisdom. His wisdom cannot allow a situation to be higher than his ability to solve it. This is one of the things that makes him God. The ability to insist until creation and all, everything comes under the Christ. The Bible says that the Lord, my help cometh from the Lord which make heaven and the earth he can make men he can make a family he can make your finances he can bring strange beauty and glory out of your life and there are many ways that god makes there are many ways that he helps one of it is to deliver another is to lift my brothers and my sisters please listen to me God is not a man. Find a way of being convinced tonight. If you don't believe this, it will be difficult for you. Every challenge looks mighty until you see the size of God with respect to it. Parus kalapariata. The medical bills always look threatening. The medical report always looks threatening. But when God steps in, he changes everything. When he's done, he leaves his signature, El Shaddai. When, when God visits you, he doesn't just leave. He will leave his signature so that everyone will know that this one is the Lord's doing. Are we together? Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivered them. The Lord delivered him from them all. From them all. This is a word of hope. That means you can expect tonight that God should visit you completely. Now listen, listen, listen. Let me teach you something about Satan. Satan is the master of the flesh realm. Did you know why the Bible says for to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. The gateway to your mind from the earth realm is to your faculties of interaction with this realm. And Satan is a master of the flesh realm. 
he will magnify the challenge that stands before you and he keeps magnifying it until God is demagnified in your life and at that point you will never be able to see the possibilities of God in your life again this is what leads to men limiting God the Bible says they limited God in the wilderness by saying can God make a way hallelujah praise the Lord God is going to do wonders in the lives of people tonight. Yeah. Let me share with you something very deep right now, and then we're going to pray. I didn't intend to wear what I'm wearing. Anybody who knows me knows that this, has, this is not my dressing at all. I intended wearing something else when the Spirit of God began to give me a revelation. I saw strange fruitfulness is a very mighty grace listen and the lord told me not i mean i was just sharing with my boys and they thought it was just to iron this and the lord said you are not only going to teach it you will act it like a garment this is why i'm wearing what i'm wearing now see listen the way of the spirit is strange you have to be spiritual to understand the impulses of the spirit it always does not make sense until it happens. Are we together? Fruitfulness. I will make you exceeding fruitful that kings will come out of you. See, listen. There is a song that says, He knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees each teeth that falls and he hears me when I fall. Many times when you stand in front of the obstacles, the sicknesses, the infirmity, Satan is master of the flesh realm. He will tell you how many men of God have prayed for you. How many times have you fasted over this issue? But one thing you need to understand about the word of God is that it does not just come, it is sent. Please understand this. When I sent you, the word of God is sent. Sent. When it is sent, it is mandated to not return to God void until it accomplishes the purpose for which it has been sent. Are we together? Please sit down. We'll soon be standing to pray. So the Lord has many ways of delivering his own. The second thing I want to communicate tonight is that as powerful as God is, please listen, as powerful as God is, the possibilities that come to men from God depend on the quality of the vessel being used. Please listen carefully. It does not just depend on the might of God. The vessel being used has a lot to do with what reaches the saints. I sense a strong anointing here. I'm seeing lights. Lights. This is what I see. When I begin to talk about these things, the Lord puts a witness to himself. Lights. Overflow one. Horashila haskuba harita tusiata. We see the rain of your love We feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear We see the rain of your love We feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear so let it rain 
let it rain. Open the flood. Let sit down. All vessels do not allow the same possibilities of God to reach men. The power of God is not just limited by demons and principalities and powers. The capacity through the mystery of death that is provided by the vessels can amplify the hand of God as far as providing spiritual possibilities is concerned. So it is true that God intends to do a thing within this his domain called earth. But listen to me. A vessel can be so limited and because that is the vessel God has to make do with. God will have to navigate around the allowance that the death of that vessel can provide. Listen very carefully. So that many times what we experience in the meeting is not necessarily all God could do. It was what the level of the death and the alignment of the vessel allowed. Therefore, we are mandated as privileged stewards of this mystery to continue to die and to continue to expand because there is a relationship between our death and the glory that is released. Are we together now? Most of us are not aware of how many things on earth really depend on men. There are so many things on earth that do not depend on God. But the world of men is where the allowance or the disallowance happens. And this is a deep mystery because God made it so. Did you know that you can have a vision of you being delivered and you being blessed? The challenge is that the miracle you want to receive does not just come generically. You see, the miracle you want to receive must be lower than the level of death I have gone through to really reach you the way it left heaven. If you are faced with a situation that is higher than the death level of that vessel, as mighty as God is, that vessel will not be able to receive the richness of what was sent to heaven. This is more than just being anointed. This is becoming a conduit for greater, heavier, and weightier dimensions of the possibilities of God to reach men. I arrived and my eyes was almost full of tears as I saw the crowds of people. I know you came to see God. We agree. It is true. But you can imagine in a meeting where people start and welcome the Lord Jesus Christ. And yet burdens remain there. Challenges remain there until a man shows up. And then the burdens begin to go. God was there right from the beginning of the service. Are we together now? This is very powerful. And every time God grants us the privilege to grow and to transit in the spirit, we rejoice not just for ourselves alone, but that we have been able to capture greater dimensions of possibilities for the sake of the saints. So that what could not be solved yesterday can now be solved today. This is the beauty of growth. This is the beauty of power. This is the only justification why people should continue to listen and receive from a man. It should be predicated on the fact that there is an intentional commitment to grow, to expand, to be able to host more of God.
by all means by all means sir king salam So when God speaks, listen, the dynamics of the working of his word is that mediating between God, the communicator of that dimension, and man who is the final recipient, there must be men. And this is where the problem usually is. The problem is not with the power of God. The problem is not with the wisdom of God. The problem is the limitation of the vessels that he has to make do with. Are we together now? Yes. So the greater the death, the more the life, the power in experience of the reality of the Christ. Here's what the Bible says. Now unto him who is able to do, listen, exceeding abundantly far above all we ask or think. Then it says according to the power, not that works in him, that works in us. He is able to do. There's no problem with his ability. But that ability, the manifestation is limited by the power that works in us. The dam can supply water. The borehole can supply water. But what enters your bucket finally is the size of the opening from the nozzle of the tap. If the tap is open so small, it can make the dam look limited. And you can be receiving drops of water and you will have to make do with what is coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so God wants to cap this revelation of this mystery of fruitfulness in our lives. God wants to wrought mighty deliverance. What is deliverance? A separation from the obstacle, the impedance that stands before you, around you. The obstacles don't have to be spirits. They can be situations. Hallelujah. If you are given a death sentence in terms of a medical report, that report is looking for the power of God. Remember, we have taught here that the real activator of the possibilities of God is his divine power. His divine power flows through the channel of faith. But the final mystery that works the wonders is his divine power. The Bible says, according as his divine power that hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. Tonight gathered here are several people with conditions that only God knows and only God can tell. But one thing I can tell you is that the king of glory is in this place. And not only the king of glory is in this place, the vessels that he has so engraced are also in this place. It is not a popular revelation in the church. Every time people say God is here, they are right. But the presence of the vessels that will be used by that God is often trivialized. Men are very powerful and they are very important. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight, burdens will fall. Tonight, yokes will be destroyed. Tonight, God will turn the lives of people around. Hear me. There are things that have no business happening in your life that will be made to happen. Creation did not stop on the seventh day. God only rested. Please understand this. Creation did not stop. There is nowhere in the Bible that God stopped creating. Mm -mm. Creation, God only took a break. But creation continues. Not just plants and animals. 
To create means to make material, to create a scenario out of nothing. You have no business getting a job before the year runs, but the world can create. You have no business coming out of pain. You have no business, but the word, the Rima word, revealed, backed by the power of God. You have no business being healed today, but the Bible says to appoint unto them that morning in Zion. To appoint means to set the date when it happens. Not only to reveal that it will happen, to make it happen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please hear me. Shake away unbelief from your mind as we begin to pray. Don't let the, the devil will use the flesh. This is not the first time you are attending a miracle service, he will tell you. This is not the first time men of God are praying for you. The moment those things come, you have the responsibility of fortifying your mind. You refuse, reject it. You can insist by faith that tonight is my night. You can insist by faith. Father, the grace that has not come upon my life before tonight is the night it will come. Lord, the dimension that have not been opened to yet, this is the night I will receive. Hear me. Hear me. There are no special days for anybody. It is your faith that makes it special. The Bible said today, if you hear his voice, any day can be that today. Mm. Are we together? Blind Bartimaeus is at the way towards Jericho. And Jesus will be passing for the last time. And the guy would have said one day he will come back again. And he would have missed it. The Bible says he cried. He cried, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus looks at him and with what you would think is sarcasm, he said, what should I do for you? And then he says to regain my sight. And that man regained his sight. Only people who insist with understanding receive anything. Hoping and wishing that God will touch me is a waste of time. We'll share the grace and you'll go back frustrated. But there are people who have come. Some of you have been fasting. Some of you traveled from outside of this nation with in this nation with hunger there are people standing outside people following online why will you allow the service finish and you just go back like that you are a man of God you have come from far why don't you carry something of substance that you can go back with as a witness that you met with the power of God is God speaking to us one scripture and then we'll pray Isaiah 61. This is a scripture that is very powerful. The hand of God is moving in overflow one. I continue to see this thing. Overflow one. I'm seeing it's an impartation. It's not just a deliverance. There is a pouring of graces that is coming on specific people. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord had ordained the word anointed there is ordained ordained me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives the opening of prison to them that are bound verse 2 to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. All, not some, three. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, giving them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. It says that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Go to verse 4. And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. They shall repair the waste cities and the desolations of many generations. I believe in the power of God. I believe in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I believe in the limitless dimension of what the Spirit of God can do upon it. How 
shall these things be Mary said seeing that I know not a man he says the power of the highest shall overshadow not come upon overshadow you are under the influence of the Spirit of God and under the influence of the Holy Spirit there is nothing that cannot happen please listen to me under the influence of the Spirit time can be compressed under the influence of the Holy Spirit there are things that should not happen but can happen now the Lord is that spirit the Bible says this Lord we have been talking about is that spirit not just the father seated on the throne the Lord who delivered the righteous the Lord who anoints is that spirit and he says where the spirit of the Lord is you will know that he is there by the miracles you know that he's there not just because you ask him to come alone you are here working miracles I worship you I worship you you are here turning lives around I worship you I worship you you are here release I worship you, I worship you, way make miracle walk, promise keep light in the darkness, that is who you are, way make a miracle walk, So you know he's in a place not just because you believe by faith but there are tokens there are representations that attest to and validate the fact that he's in the midst of his people listen let me tell you my brothers and my sisters tonight you are in for an encounter you are in for an experience it's a shift in the spirit and i want you to believe we are immersed in an atmosphere of limited possibilities limitless possibilities do not allow the devil to lie to you that your case is so great that god cannot meet you that god cannot touch you let god be true and let every man be a liar hallelujah now but listen i learned this from pastor benny Hinn. i will share this briefly and then we'll begin to pray haven't worked in the healing ministry for more than half of a century benny Hinn shared that one of the challenges he had observed with people when the power of god begins to move is they are not ready to release the pain the sickness the infirmity you will think just because you are in god's presence and you expect him to touch you to heal you he will not take something from you that you are still holding back this mystery was demonstrated in the woman with the alabaster box when she came to jesus the bible says it was made of spikenard pure nard a year's wages she broke it at his feet and it became an instrument of worship there are people who come with medical reports they come with pain they are just coming to inform God that this is what they are going through they are not ready for the exchange yet listen this is a very simple but powerful spiritual key when you come to God the Bible says the instruction is to believe that he exists number two that he is the rewarder of them who diligently seek him how does he reward there must always be an exchange your weakness for his strength the miracle the testimony are we together now so you must be able to hand over everything here's how the Bible puts it all my cares and burdens unto you I roll. 
That's a part of the song that is powerful. Lord, I come to you with this array of family challenges. I'm handing it over to you. I don't expect to go empty. There are many people, whether God touches you or not, you will go back full because you didn't give him anything. Until you transfer the burden, the sickness, the Bible says, cast all your cares. It didn't say God will do it. It is your responsibility to say, Lord, I'm tired of carrying this infirmity. I'm tired of carrying this evil report. I bring it before you and I cast it down. When you are now empty, God says, I now exchange that which you have brought for what I have brought. Nobody comes before God empty. And God does not come before any man empty. The problem is there must be willingness for the exchange. God will not rest upon you when your hands are full, when your mind is full. Listen, it is very important. You are a man of God here. If all you come to give God is frustration of ministry, Lord, the church is not growing. Lord, this and that, that's, that, mm -mm, that's not the issue. Lord, I hand over everything. Call me Nana Kane. So it's time to carry your bills that is killing you and surrender it before him. It, listen, it's time to take the sickness. It's time to take the, all the concerns. Don't take some and leave some. Carry everything. Ah. I cast my crown before the highest When your hands are too heavy, you cannot receive anything. You will need to take away, bring the report from your office. Bring the report from a doctor. Bring everything. When you lay it at his feet, you now lift your hand ready to receive the healing, the miracle. You don't come before God just to inform him. No. God is not interested in just being aware. He's interested in doing something. Cast your care. Listen. Coming to God and releasing everything is proof of faith. That you come before him and say, Lord, if you do not help me, I don't know where the house rent is coming from. We are 11 in this family and it's clear that there is a yoke upon this family. You may think, listen, you may think because you are always appearing before him, it means you are casting your care. No. You have to intentionally, consciously say, Lord, I don't want this sickness again. Take it. I'm tired of this life of poverty and failure. 
I'm tired of this life without results. Are we together now? Yes. And one of the ways that we cast our care is through worship. Another way that we cast our care is through prayer. Very powerful. You can pray and say, Lord, take everything. Take everything. Tired of the burden of ministry. Tired of the burden of my family. This is not how you designed me to work. Take it. And then when you are now empty, remember when there was no more vessel, the oil stopped. Are we together tonight? It does not take God anything to lift you. It does not take God anything to bless you. It does not take God anything to cause men to bless and honor and lift you. Listen, Benny Hinn said that many people come to his healing crusades and they are ever conscious of their sicknesses, conscious of their infirmity, and even when the power of God is flowing, the fortitude for reception is not there because they are busy meditating. The size of this problem, can God solve it? And God is wondering and saying, who told you, who, who educated you about me? Who told you about me? The Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Tonight, God is able to transform. Tonight, God is able to heal. Hallelujah. To transform and to heal. Apostle, you don't understand the gravity of my situation. That's why. It's your mind and your perception that is being enlarged by the power of darkness. When God comes, the Bible says the mountains skip. Skip. And he clears a way for you. Is someone ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. I'll give us two prayer points before I begin to minister. And I want us to please pray. Please pray. Hallelujah. The first prayer is you are going to ask the Lord. Listen carefully. You are going to ask the Lord to do something to your faith tonight. I agree and I concur that sometimes the prevailing challenges can be so great and so mighty. You will sit down and begin to wonder in our finite minds, how will God navigate this and bring and birth this miracle for me? Are we together now? This is where the spirit of faith comes. The faith of God. He says, this is the victory that overcomes even our faith. You're going to pray, Lord, my faith is strong. I believe you. I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Tonight, my faith is strong. I believe that this is the night, the night when you transform. The night when you heal. The night when you deliver. The night when you turn my family around. Is someone praying? This is the night of your power. The night of your glory. salatas. This beginning of miracles. Did Jesus in the presence of his disciples and manifested his glory. Manifest your glory, O God. Father, help my unbelief. I reject unbelief. They limited God in the wilderness by saying, can God make a way? Can God make a way? You are in ministry. Pray. Tonight is a night when you expand. When you receive. You are in business. Pray. Career. Pray. You are in ministry. Pray. For your family. Pray. Release your faith. Shila barakato salabradigesh. 
Hallelujah. Listen. Prayer point number two. The Bible says, Ye have not because ye ask not. You have not because you ask not. He said, Ask and you will receive that your joy may be complete. Ask and you will receive. He didn't say, Give us any day. Give us this day our daily bread. Listen, when you come to God, it is not only important that you are aware of who he is, but you must come to God stating specifically the way and the manner that you desire or the area that you trust him to step in and come through for you for. Every time Jesus would meet with a blind man, a lame man, he would ask them, what do you want? That you are lame does not mean you want to stand. You must be able to verbalize your requests. You must be able to communicate. Listen, I know that many of you have written your prayer request, but I want to give you the next two or three minutes alone with God. Open your mouth and state the things that you desire by faith to happen to you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Someone is talking to the Lord. Communicate your expectation. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. It says the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then it says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with faith in your heart. Palabaruta shalabragada baladabo. Kranta lato shalagradira da baladaba. Someone is praying. Lord, my ministry is about to catch fire. There is a dimension of grace that must land upon my life. There is an operation of the spirit that must rest upon me. Is someone praying? I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will Please look up. It is not very difficult for a man's situation to change. God is not a magician. You will need to release your faith with understanding. 
you are before the God of all flesh, the doer, the walker of wonders. He's truly a miracle worker. Please believe in miracles. Believe in miracles. They are not a fabrication of human intelligence. No, no. God can work miracles. God does miracles. God delivers. God heals. God lifts. God transforms. God sets free. That's what his grace can do. Never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never stay the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never preach the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never sing the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the atmosphere of God's glory, listen don't wait until you are called by prophecy don't wait until you are prophesied upon let your heart be open to receive let your heart be opened to rise in the spirit i want to pray now please listen listen to me the power of god is very strong here let's work together now guys Deliverance, when kept within the boundaries of the word of God, is powerful. Listen, because for many of us, let me tell you this, I submit to you. Listen, please don't inconvenience the guests. The space is all right. Just, just let them be, please. Listen, it's an interesting thing that many believers are unwilling to accept. That behind many tragedies are spirits. Please understand this behind many operations listen when jesus was going to calm the storm every storm is made of two things wind and water you can see the water but you cannot see the wind every storm is made of wind and water there is no storm that is made of water alone jesus rebuked the water he rebuked the wind and the water was still there is no problem that is as a physical problem there are spirits back of it whether it is financial marital spiritual one of the biggest deceptions of darkness is to believe that your issue is just sociological or just marital no sir no sir there are spirits more spirits than men on the earth in one man there was a legion in one man that's to tell you how much scarce bodies are on earth for these spirits six thousand spirits in one man please listen to what i tell you your financial situation can be masquerading itself and dribbling you all around and it, yes there are principles here and there but hear me you are not free until the spirit that sponsor the operation is dealt with are we together there are you can only judge situations by what has affected you the one that has not affected you yet is there but just because it has not happened yet you may not know. So the secret is to address the spirits behind it. And not wait for them to create different scenarios that show you they are there. Are we together? 
when we pray and minister to people, listen, we're, we're, a, very, we're a very balanced, Bible-based ministry. And let me tell you this by the Spirit of God. You do not help men when you leave the spirit that is back of their situations to go back with them. Now, I know that here and there people abuse these things and do all kinds of nonsense that are not within the jurisdiction of Scripture. This is not what we are talking about. We are talking of liberty that is provable. That you can walk out before the service is done. You are seeing the evidence that this is what has masqueraded itself. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You can be a man of God here. Greatly ministry. You are anointed. But things may not be working. And you may just think the issue is just ministry, ethics, preaching well. That is wonderful. But let me tell you, he said, I desire once and again to come to you. But Satan hindered us. It is not only angels that are on assignment. There are spirits on assignment. There are demons on assignment. There are powers that are on assignment. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. What seest thou? Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, and against Israel. That these horns have made it that no man doth lift his head. He said, but I have sent four carpenters. It's a reality. Behind many families are spirits. Behind many medical reports are spirits. Behind many repeated patterns of frustration are spirits. Oh, my help has come. I shared the testimony of a gentleman many years ago. He was in ministry and um, I had the opportunity to counsel him. And while I was talking with him, as he entered my room, I saw a spirit just entering with him. And I looked at this dear gentleman, lovely, adorable, wonderful person. And I was politely going to hint him to say, sir, the Lord is already showing me what is behind your problem. And ah, the gentleman just shot me down and said, no, no, no. Don't talk to me about this and that. I said, that's all right. No problem. I respect you. I do this. Let me just pray with you. That's all I requested from him. The last thing he could remember was me beginning to pray. And then when he recovered from himself, like almost an hour later on, he got up. And for the next three days, this gentleman kept reaching me. And said, Apostle, you have rattled my theology. What is this? Doors began to open like a charm in that gentleman's life. Listen, I hope you know that there was a relationship between the doors that were closed and the chains in the hand of Paul and Silas. It's very strange. They were bound hand and feet, the Bible says, at midnight. They lifted up their voices. They prayed and they sang. Suddenly, there was an earthquake because God himself came. And then, listen, the Bible says the moment there was that earthquake, the chains by themselves fell. Immediately, the chains fell. He said, all doors open. Not some. All doors. There was no use of key. The key was that chain. As the chain fell, the doors opened. Please, I'd like you to pray in one minute. Father, if there is any spirit entity that is back of my situation, it must live by the spirit and the grace of God. Lift your voice and pray. 
Rantela baruta shalaka rapakato zebradiya. Rantela shubra haska barutiya. Egredu si ala haska baruta si ala bas. Shali barato salabadushi. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Tonight in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that is not of the Christ. That is back of the situation around my life, my family, my business, my ministry. Pray. Hallelujah. You see, the power of God is already touching people. Listen, I'm going to take a few minutes tonight to really address this issue of spirits because they are real. They are very, very real. Very real. Hallelujah. I have met so many spirits in my life. I've had so many encounters. That's not the basis of believing they are there. Scripture already tells us they are there. But let me tell you, they are there. And they are not there doing nothing. They are there causing pain. They are there manipulating families. They are there projecting things that are not of the Christ. But the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let's pray. I want to begin to pray now. Please listen. Whether or not you are an usher, I'd like you to help those under the anointing. We are going to do a lot of praying this night while I'm ministering. Um, please participate in the prayer. Prayer is very powerful when done with understanding. Are we together? Now I want to pray for you and then begin to minister to people. Because there are real spirits behind people's situations. Hallelujah. First, I want you to bring out now. I'm not going to say anything. God is giving me an instruction. The power of God, I'm already seeing something like a blue smoke rising out of people. And these are spirits. And when that happens, the power of God will come upon them. I want you, whether outside or inside, just begin to bring them out here. We're going to pray and call on that name now. But the Lord is revealing to me. You will be very surprised. Some of you are standing for yourself, standing for your family. Please bring them out. This is the instruction God is giving. Except God is not God. There is no spirit that is back of any one situation that will remain after tonight. Please quickly just bring them out. I'm seeing the power of God. I don't know why God is giving me this instruction. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I will contend with them that contend with you. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Please bring them out. Let's just walk with what the Holy Ghost is doing. The strangers that must come out of their hiding place and let you be and let your family be. There's fire burning in this place. One more minute and then we'll pray. God is still locating people inside and outside. It's time for your liberty and your liberty in full, in full by the Spirit. Establishing the victory of the Christ over every life, every destiny. Come out 
Alright, we are ready to pray. Please lift your hands. Let me pray now. I'm seeing fire. That fire is coming on people as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. As you shout that name, Jesus, I declare by the blood of the eternal covenant that every legal access upon which the devil is laying claim over lives, over bodies, over finances, over destinies, I invoke help that woman by the blood of the eternal covenant. It must go now at the count of three. Shout Jesus. One, two, three. by the power of the Holy Ghost bring them out in the name of Jesus I command the powers that be by the blood of the eternal covenant that everything that binds men to spirits binds men to realities in the spirit I come against it by the God of Jeshuron please bring them out we release a sound in the realm of the spirit. We declare sounds of victory. While still praying, my God, chains. I'm seeing chains in the spirit. One more time, you are going to shout that name. Lord, if there is anyone here under any kind of chain, the Bible says to release them that are bound. As you shout that name, no matter how long that chain has stayed, it's time for you to be released. Are you ready now? Thank you, Father, for the honor of your word. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. Over families, over businesses, I break those chains now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the vision of a graveyard. I'm seeing the vision of a graveyard. And the Lord wants me to rebuke the spirit of the grave. The spirit of Hades. I stand by the God of heaven. And I declare right now. Anyone covenanted to the power of the grave. The covenant with death. The covenant with the grave. By fire. May that fire fall on you now. The covenant with the grave. The covenant with then I speak by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. Be liberated now. Be free now. Haladuja li haskabaruda shalabanda sibaha. Rakatiza nehesalakatia. Hallelujah. Now listen. We are going to pray for the sick. But I'm sensing a unique grace for the healing of growths and lungs. Growths and lungs. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like a woman on a surgical table. This is what I'm seeing. I'm speaking right now. Every spirit behind the infirmity. My God, I'm seeing fire fall on people. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every lump, every growth, fibroids, malignant growth, cancerous tissues. By the spirit of the living God. Let the life and the power of God touch you now. Let the life, help them please. Let the life and the power of God. In the name of Jesus, I command those crows to leave those bodies now. I command them to dissolve now. Help that lady, please. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Groats 
I'm still seeing growths coming out of people's bodies. Swellings of all kinds. This is not limited to women alone, including men. Be free now in the name of Jesus. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in and we will never settle for less. We know everyone here in front in this overflow and all the overflows I declare that the spirit that lay claim upon any aspect of your life I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I command them to leave now pack your load and go at the count of three one two three go 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 out of their destinies now out of their lives forever out of their lives forever out of their homes forever of their bodies forever. Hallelujah. Please pay attention. We are still praying. Now, the Lord is showing me something that I don't see very often. I'm seeing an old gate and I'm seeing chains on it with a padlock. This is a sign of stagnation. You are here and mysteriously, you have been in the same position. You try to move, you try to push. I'm about to smash that gate to pieces. Not to open it, to stamp it down. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Now help them please. Listen. I want you to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart. I decree and declare every destiny here that has been tied down by men, by systems, by spirits, so that you cannot move. By this shout of Tehillah tonight, I declare every gate crushed and comes down now. Are you ready? At the count of three. One, two, three. I prophesy to you, move forward, go forward, go forward, go forward. Stagnation comes to an end. Retro apakoto shala, rekete kete kete, parus kaba, embreketo sheleto sabaka. Stagnation comes to an end. Retrogression comes to an end. Hallelujah. Who is Bukola? I'm hearing the name Bukola. Bukola. Our time is gone. There is still a lot to do. Who is Bukola? Don't worry. Don't force and rush those who are standing in front. You are Bukola. Where are you coming from? Let me pray for you, my dear. Stand up and I'll pray for you. You are also Bukola. My dear, hold my hands. Listen, my dear. In the name of Jesus, this chain that I'm seeing be loose now. In the name of Jesus, I lose you from that chain. It is broken now and broken forever. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone you walk in first bank. You walk in first bank. Who is that person? You need a serious miracle now. You walk in first bank. First bank. Let's hurry up, please. You walk. Who is that first bank? All of you are Bukola. Ma, let me speak to you. The grace for wealth. Stand up. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing currencies falling on you. And the Lord is telling me that there is a strange grace for wealth. 
this, this, is, this should be Kingsley's wife. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the spirit of the Lord, let that word come to pass now. I release you by the power of prophecy into that dimension. Prepared blessings by the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll pray for everyone, but the power of God is going to come on one of you now. Very mighty anointing is coming on one of you, and God is setting that person's family free. One of these bukolas, right? So the power of God is coming on you, one of you. It, this is not something small. It's a, a mighty outpouring of the power of God. When that happens, um, I would just identify that one. Who works in First Bank? First Bank, you are a staff. Huh? No, you are not a staff of First Bank, you are on contract. Is that true? You're on contract. I'll still pray. This person I'm seeing is a bona fide staff of the bank. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing something that can cost you your job. Father, show this, my dear brother, mercy by the grace of God. Look at me, sir. I'm seeing a whirlwind on your head. I need to pray against confusion and pray against stagnation. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are set free now and you are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Please make sure you are observing the ladies. The power of God is going to come on one. That's the instruction God is giving me. It's very mighty anointing. When it comes on that one, I want to pray for them. Your father is a general in the army. Who is that? Your dad is a general in the army. I need to pray. We need to rebuke conspiracies. The Lord is showing me your father is a general in the army. Real army, military. Please, if you are that person, I want you to come. If you are that person, I want you to come. I want to pray for you. This is conspiracy. In the name of Jesus, over her family, let there be a mighty deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all of you for the various reasons why you have come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord himself give you testimonies. Very strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. The Lord is showing me a vision. I'm seeing a family of five ladies. There's no marriage. One, two, three, four, five. Five ladies. Nobody has settled down. Where are you? Please come. Where are you coming from, my dear? From Joss. I want to pray. You are five of you. All alive. Five ladies. No one has settled down. What do you do? Contract staff with Sterling Bank. Wait. Sterling Bank. Sterling Bank. Yes. You will leave the bank soon. Amen. Listen to me. There is another job that is coming for you. When that job comes, don't fight it. It's the will of God. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not saying you should go and retire now. But I'm telling you that another job is coming. Let's pray. It's not normal. We need to break this. I'm seeing three ladies in my vision. I don't know why there's only one person here. These five, five families. Please make sure you don't tell lies. Don't just come and stand here. If it's not, I will pray for everybody. Five families. None. Not one person has settled down. Ladies now. Don't cry, my dear. Jesus is in this place. Release the family now. Release the family now. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing coals of fire and I'm seeing a horn on it. Release the family now. There is someone here. This is a very mysterious thing that happens to you. In a very strange way. This happens especially when you pray for extended period. Your whole body starts itching you in a funny way. You know how someone under the influence of a, what they call that drug? Chloroquine. That's what happens to you. Like physically you begin to scratch your body. I must pray for you. Why is she here? Please. You are the one? Come. Come. Madam, you too. Where are you coming from, ma? You are coming from Abuja. Come. We we'll attend to the photos you are holding here, eh? but for now, we need to pray for you. This is, this is not just evil, very evil. I have to pray for you. 
You too, my brother. Where are you coming from? You see, my dear people, I'm, no, I'm not saying if your body is itch, listen to the, the, the issue. I just saw fire, this row, right down, just like a sword of fire just passed. I don't know who that is for, but in the name of Jesus, let it bring emancipation right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Look at me, my dear. You believe in Jesus? I bring you life from this kingdom that we represent. Be free now from this demonic, satanic oppression. In the name of Jesus. Our dear auntie, let me pray for you. Just keep her there. Can you hold my hands, madam? I want to pray for you right now in the name that is above all names. Help her. Be free right now. I cause the workings of darkness over your body and over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Five families, hold my hands. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let it be over. Let the doors be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you, my dear. I'm looking at you physically, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing an arrow inside your head. I need to pray. There is infirmity that has been projected in your body. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Can I pray for you? Is that all right? Father, help this lady. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, be free from this that does not name the name of Christ. I set you free from it now in the name of Jesus. Five ladies, I'll just lay my hands on you. Be free right now. Let the doors be opened. Be free right now. Kai, let her go. Out now in the name of Jesus. She's also here. Your dad is a general in the army. Where are you from? Gombe State. You are in Abuja, but you are from Gombe State. I'd like us to pray. Can I pray for you? I'm not a prophet of doom, eh? Don't be afraid. Look at me. Those who plan evil, in the name of Jesus, they will not live to execute their wickedness. You see, Ba, my brothers and my sisters, let me teach you something about life. The Bible says a man's enemy shall be the members of his own household. Father, preserve the life of this our general in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a family now, God is breaking the plague of death. The power of God is coming. I don't know whether they are inside or outside. The plague of death is being broken right now. There is a mighty anointing that is coming on that wise to set them free from the plague of death. Please come very quickly. I'll just touch you. I don't know why they are here, but we have to hurry up very quickly. Just a touch. Believe by faith. It is over. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sir, where are you coming from? I'm from Abuja. From Abuja? Yeah. What do you do, sir? I'm a minister. You're a minister of the gospel. I want to pray for you. Where, where, where are you coming from? Where do you come, your state of origin? Akwaibo. Do you plan to go this Christmas? I'm not yet. But I'm not yet. Huh? I'm, I, I went for operation. It's not up to Listen, that's why I want to talk to you. I'm looking at this man, and I'm seeing you were supposed to have died. It's because of the intercession of men that you are alive. But then, I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. We, anything God shows, we cancel. You get the point now? I'm seeing this man going in a bus, and I'm seeing a truck. I will not mention, I'm not being antagonistic, but the truck did not just shift your car. It climbed it, and everybody gone like that. You see, when God shows a thing, it is because of the strength he has put in his church. The power to change it completely. Are we together? I want to pray for you. You are very sick. And even the surgery has not solved the problem. Because what I'm seeing is still there. Please hold my hand, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son, let this man not be given to the sword. 
let him not be given to the grave in the name of Jesus I knock on the door of life and I speak to you sir by the power of the Holy Ghost be set free I fortify you by the power of God's word and I declare death will be far from your dwelling I speak that your going out is blessed and safe even your coming in is blessed and it is safe in the name of Jesus may the Lord show you mercy continually in Jesus name I pray family of five I need to pray hold my hands Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Oh yeah yeah say Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Oh yeah In the name of Jesus, I lose you and your siblings. Everything that is an orchestration of darkness, I speak by the Spirit of the Living God. You are loosed now. In the name of Jesus, I declare liberty. I restore dignity and honor. What is happening to you? I'm seeing an angel of the Lord going down here. There's somebody, the same thing is happening to someone there. The same thing God is doing here, God is doing to a lady there. I declare be liberated right now in the name of Jesus. Please come, sir. Let me just touch you by faith. In Jesus' name, be set free. Come. In Jesus' name, be set free. 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 There is someone, I think you are in ministry, you are in overflow one. The power of God is going to come upon you in a mighty way now. Please carry the person and bring the person here. We have to hurry up. I'm seeing the power of God touch the person. Hallelujah. I'm about to release that grace for speed again. Please come. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. Shala super I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing blood dripping around the east. And the Lord is saying, those who are easterners. Is, this, is a, this is a sign and a wonder. When God shows me a map, whenever I mention that location, anyone who is oppressed within that location, the power of God comes on them. Right now, I'm seeing the east. The east. I release that power now. The Lord is bringing liberation. Eastern states. I'm seeing blood drip upon them. name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm seeing an elderly woman with sharp pain around her lumbar vertebra the power of God is touching that woman right now who is the person mommy you're welcome one to pray ah. not everything that looks like sickness is sickness there are many things that are projections of darkness are we together mommy let me pray for you in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God help her please in the name of Jesus I command that spirit now by the power of the Holy Ghost release our mother in the name of Jesus mommy I command that infirmity that plague and that yoke of darkness be gone right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ let me just pray for these two people now. This lady, where is she coming from? Okay. There is, it will surprise you 
how the grace for intercession will come on you this lady this fair lady i'm talking to you in the name of jesus i speak by the power of the holy ghost may that grace mantle you and turn you into a sign and a wonder the lord will show you things in your dreams he will show you things in visions please bring our mommy for me let me pray in the name of jesus christ um just touch her back for me in the name of jesus christ i declare right now this is not sickness this is the spirit of death i command the spirit of death hell and the grave to leave our mother right now by the power of the holy spirit complete emancipation complete emancipation in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the lord is asking me to stretch my hands just here i don't know why but this is what he's saying just right here to the wall i'm seeing i'm seeing people's stomach the abdominal region i'm seeing things like chains just bring those under the anointing as i'm talking i'm seeing things like chains these are devils of infirmity the lord is asking me to just stretch my hand please just allow me do my madness with god here and let the lord set these people free please bring them out we're hurrying up now in the name of jesus karu salatu ziata kariza hasalam barita suba haseketa kradu saletu shala saba hasara tata ziakata rakata barada balakata frata sadaba katu shala branda skabariata I place my hand on my stomach as a point of contact. Every planting that is not of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, be free from it now. Yeah. Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on one of the ushering ladies. One of these ladies with the jerseys. I'm seeing an anointing. I know you are ministering, but this is a miracle God is bringing for you, for your family. One of the ushering ladies. I don't know whether they are inside, outside. I'm seeing an anointing on one of the ushering ladies. This is, this is liberty that God is bringing right now. Shalus Karita Hasubadia. In the name of Jesus, my dear, look at me. Shame and reproach is living your life now. Shame and reproach is living your life now. The garment of shame and reproach is living your life now. Why is this gentleman here? You are not the anointing outside? Come. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Come. You lifting your hands. Run. Come. Your time of change has come. Where are you coming from? Coming from Ondo State and Mikopa. It's, it's all right. It's okay. Don't worry. That's why you are here. Do you know me? I don't know you. That's why I'm saying you just relax. You were in the crowd and God brought you here. Do you know why God brought you here? Because things are not working at all in your family. God needs to turn things around. If I don't pray for you, what I'm seeing is you are celebrating Christmas morning and blaming people being the reason why somebody died and another person died because I'm seeing the spirit of death hovering around your family. But the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. Let me pray for you. Hold my hands, my dear. What did you study? Medical laboratory science. Do you have a job? I'm, I'm a copper in Ondo State. I work, I'm, I'm a copper. I'm starting an NGO. I want to pray for you. The favor of God that will come upon you from this miracle service will surprise you. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stay the power of evil over your family. And in the name of Jesus, I release you to a realm and a dimension of strange favor. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but I want to release this grace for speed. Please, I want you to believe there is a real grace for speed. If you don't have it, you don't have it, period. There is a grace. Gashina, Gamuna, 
searching al janna ya na na gashina Sarakin Sarakuna Yana Na Sarakin Sarakuna Let's pray. Listen. It's a mystery how God brought me into this understanding. When you understand how speed works, you will never feel bad for any delay in your life. It's a strange system that insists that you catch pace with destiny. It works mysteriously. It works by compressing time. 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 Dominion over time is what speed is about. I want to pray for someone now. Sirkin Sarakuna. Father, please, I know that when I begin to pray inside and outside, people will begin to run physically. Honestly, why God does it, I don't know. I think it's just a prophetic acting of what is happening in the realm of the spirit. But every time I pray this prayer, the hand of God comes upon people and you find out that sometimes they begin to run physically. And I'm going to pray that prayer now. There are people here, God wants to take 10 years and put in one year. God wants to take one year five years and put in one month is it not written in your bible that i will restore the years god does not only restore things he restores time whoever can restore time must be god himself are we together in the name of jesus i decree and declare right now everyone under the sound of my voice inside outside parushalata i declare at the count of three father let this grace for speed restoration the mystery that gains time may that grace fall upon people within this auditorium overflow one two three four online in the name of jesus receive that grace one two three take that grace now that grace speed Keparushalata. restoration i prophesy pursue overtake without fail recover pursue overtake without fail recover in career pursue in marriage pursue in ministry pursue i'm speaking by the spirit pursue overtake recover pursue help that woman please overtake recover financially pursue overtake recover in your influence pursue overtake recover in your academics i pray for students pursue overtake recover pursue overtake recover Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The person who will run out now under the anointing, don't stop the person, just hold the person. By the person's self, mysteriously by the spirit, there is a prophetic word. And this is how God told me. It's a force that will come upon the person. Please help her. it will happen by the spirit they will come out by themselves a strong anointing is not something you can resist this is a sign and a wonder how God does it I don't know Sarkin 
That's why I'm standing. Three more people. It's a wind. It's a force of the spirit. Kai, the wonder walking power of Jesus. How the church has limited him. Limited him. Limited him. Please help them. Make sure they don't injure themselves. Gashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana, Gashina, eh, eh, Gashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana. ones that have come out by the spirit I'm declaring right now the chains that hold your feet I'm seeing their legs specifically their legs with chains I lose you now in the name of Jesus I release you to destiny I release you to destiny I release you to destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost no more delay no more retrogression by the spirit of the living God The force of God's power birthing possibilities in the lives of people. The power of God is coming on this gentleman, this one wearing polo. Yes, my friend, the anointing of the spirit is coming on you in a very mighty way. And I'm seeing a gate open before you, and night is at your back and day is in your front i prophesy to you what i'm seeing and to everyone who connects with this prophecy i take night behind you and i command your morning to stand before you i take night behind you and i command the sun to shine before you in the name of jesus christ Everyone lift your voice after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit. I am breaking limits. I am moving forward. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Breaking limits. In the name of Jesus, I make progress. Is someone praying? I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking limits. Breaking limits. Hali shala hasaka tabra galoshia. Ekretus kaba shala da baruti. Embreko to shole bra hasada da baladaba. Hallelujah. We're about to pray for the sick now. Please listen. When we take our time to pray for the sick like this, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on someone just around the ministers. As I came here, I just spoke. I just saw fire, just resting. Strong anointing from the front to my back. Strong anointing. The Spirit of God is resting upon people, moving, shifting by the Spirit of the living God. How forcible. Pastor, there is a grace coming on you. The HICC pastor, a strong anointing shifting you by the spirit. Step into a new dimension. Gashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, na na na.
dimensions. We want to pray for the sick now. Listen very carefully. I believe in miracles. There are people here who are standing, trusting God to touch various aspects of their lives, their bodies. Kai, there is still a strong anointing around the minister section here. I'm seeing impartations, real graces, impartations coming by the Spirit. Impartations. People are drinking of wines. Ima, lift your hands. I amplify the prophetic upon your life in the name of Jesus. I amplify the prophetic in the name of Jesus. Hold your hands, two of you. Please help them. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. Amplify the grace. You step into new dimensions in the spirit. The spirit and the power of the word. Your words from today will be like fire. Fire. Refine us fire. Sarukin Sarabuna Yana Na Yana Na Sarukin Sarabuna Dan, come. Hold my hands. Grace is given for you to rise. No more delay. I place a ladder before you and I shift you by the spirit to the amazement of many. May your life change. Change like day and night. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise. Let's stretch our hands here. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Prophecy, no matter how accurate, is limited by time and the openness of the vessel. But that every time, this is not a ritual, it's a revelation to come before the God who can answer. Listen, there are things here written that are death sentences. There are things written here that will take only God to provide a miracle for. There are things written here that are age-long captivities. Some of them even predate our coming to the earth. But there is a name that is above every other name. The Bible says, Wherefore God hath so highly exalted him and given him an office, a name, a title. The Bible says that at the mention of that name, everything in the earth in heaven under the earth will bow every knee and then every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord even to the glory of the Father. I cannot begin to tell you the kind of tearsome testimonies that have come out of this. This is not a ritual. There is a covenant that sponsors the, uh, the answered prayer here. And one more time and the last time really for this year I want us to agree in the next two, three minutes. Wherever you are, just stretch your hands as a point of contact and begin to pray that the Egyptian that I see today, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, I will see them no more forever. Is someone praying? Every evil report, orchestrations of darkness, if it had a beginning tonight is the end pray don't worry for those of you at the overflow who are still being ministered to just focus as the ministers minister to you while we pray
Jesus, we decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. Father, we bring before you every situation here. Marital situations, financial situations, spiritual situations, career situations. In the name of Jesus, we bring them under the covering of the blood. Every legal access upon which these requests continue to remain. By the blood of the eternal covenant, we nullify that access now in Jesus' name. Father, by this prayer, we blot out handwritings and ordinances that speak against God's people. We declare them nullified forever. I stand as one sent by the Spirit of the Lord, and I declare, receive strange testimonies. Before this year runs out, in the name of Jesus, let every request tabled here be turned into testimonies. <laughs> testimonies are largely answered through men. When it leaves heaven, most times the testimonies we need we need them in their material form. There are few testimonies that we need them just in the spirit form. I'm praying every human agent that must partner with God, partner with the systems of God to see to it that this request is granted. We compel them by the spirit to do so now. In the name of Jesus. Every death sentence written here in the name of Jesus we cancel it now yes. hallelujah let it be done so shall it be we establish it in the name of Jesus now we want to round up by prophesying over our lives this for me you've heard me say this is the best part of the service because this is where everybody gets an opportunity for spiritual realities to be created in your life. Please, I want you to agree with me. Every proclamation that will come, receive it by faith. Believe it and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. pray for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of Jesus and if our God is for us then who could ever stop us and if our God is with us then And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat. Financial walls go down flat. Career walls go down flat. In the name of Jesus. A 
and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous not more favored more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from god that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which god has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen. Is a waste to fight battles without reward. David said, what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath? Sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward. I pray for you. May the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you. The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning, leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you, before this year is over, step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Our time is gone, but I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. We're rounding up in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. The grace that will produce results of wonders in your life. May that grace rest upon you now. Mm. 
prepared blessings that take you to realms 10 years put in one month I release that grace upon you listen these graces are not some carnal show of wealth no they are time redemption systems understand what they are they seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom in the name of Jesus the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results receive that grace right now receive that grace in the name of Jesus I pray for every family represented here the sound of mourning the sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God let it come to an end this night everything that has refused to work in your life by the power of the highest I compel it to begin to work now you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the presence of God the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost be a career of divine presence In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job. Before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough. We call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me. Whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here the errands and the horse that will hold your hands loyal men indeed may God give them to you anyone here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod I declare by the Spirit of God a restoration happens now you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul that's what will happen to you tonight you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul i will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over my soul ready psalm 71 verse 21 one to read one more time one more time jump up on your feet and blast in tongues and say lord this is your word you are determined to increase my greatness it says thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit everywhere
you will increase my greatness you will increase my greatness and comfort me round about thou shall increase my greatness this is your word for me i receive it you receive you increase my greatness financially you increase my greatness career wise go ahead and prophesy and say lord you are determined to increase my greatness it says thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about thou shall increase my greatness oh you will increase my greatness i will be higher than i am now something will come upon me that will take me to the next season of my life you will increase my greatness pray tonight god is about to mark your life and open up the portals for a new season he said thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me Lord we receive your word as a house you will increase our greatness 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 praise hallelujah isaiah 54 isaiah 52 54 isaiah 54 i'll read verse 1 you read verse 2 and then we'll read verse 3 together sing O barren thou that didst not bear break forth into singing and cry aloud thou who did not travel with child for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife said the lord verse 2 are you ready now verse 3 read it as a prophecy to yourself for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the nations and make the desolate cities to be inhabited lift your voice and say i am breaking limits i am breaking forth come on prophesy koinonia i am breaking forth by the power of the holy spirit nothing limits me pray inside and outside i'm breaking forth this is the word of the lord i'm breaking forth on the left breaking forth on the right i'm breaking forth 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 in the name of jesus i'm breaking forth like a pretty we are breaking forth by the power of the Holy Spirit hallelujah hallelujah Ezekiel 47 Ezekiel 47 Ah, before I teach tonight, I have come to prophesy. Mande brandi shalakata. Sike preti shabaladaba kanda preti shaka. Honestly, I prophesy to you that this is the season that you will begin to break limits. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I prophesy. I prophesy upon every area of your life. It's time to move to the next level. It's time to move to the next level. Break barriers. Break barriers. 
break barriers, ancestral barriers, break limitations that came with your lineage. I prophesy to you, rise up. This is your season for your head to be lifted up. This is your season. You will shine like the star. You will shine like the star. Rise up to your destiny. Answer the prophecy of your name. I prophesy to you. Arise. Shine. Your light is come. In this season. Arise. Shake up the dust. Arise. Stop crying. Shine. It's your season to shine. The Gentiles will come to your light. They are kings to the brightness of your rising. I prophesy you are marked for shining. Arise and shine. Somebody is leaving his current level. Let me tell you, listen. I prophesy to you that the level you are now, there is a hand that will pick you tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when they saw Saul, they said, Is Saul also a prophet? What suddenly happened? A man who left as a house boy returned back with an anointing. I pray in the name that is above all names. Those who have laughed at you, this is the season they will see the glory of God arise. Those who have mocked your God, I prophesy this is the season you will arise. Those who have said it's impossible, may the hand of my God lift you from where you are to where you need to be. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph. A man of great destiny was locked up in a pit. But the Bible says the king sent for him. Let me tell you, when the king sends for you, no power in existence has the ability to stop you. When the king if a messenger sends for you, he's all right. But when he said the king sent for Joseph, tonight my God is sending for you. It's time for your destiny to arise. The king is sending for you. The king is sending for you. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 47 listen 11 times in my dream the Lord kept telling me is the season of breaking forth for God's people 11 times 11 times I have never had such an experience 11 times the Lord kept speaking to me that go and prophesy that is the season that's why i came with that verse you can choose to believe it because you see when many people hear the word they are just those who just stand but there are others who say lord this is it this is my word i take it i receive it it is my word ezekiel 47 i'll just share this and we'll pray i want your spirit to be fired up tonight afterwards he brought me again to the door of the house and behold what has issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward and the forefront of the house stood towards the east and the waters came out from under from the right side of the house at the south side of the altar then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward and led me about the way outside into the outer gate by the way that looks eastward and behold there ran out waters from the right side now listen he says and when the man that had the line in his hands went forth eastward he measured a thousand cubits that's a level and he brought me through the waters and they were to my ankles 
again everybody say again oh the last lifting is not the last one the bible says again the word of the lord is coming again for many of us the last time it came was years ago it says arise shine not because there is light the light has come to you when the light comes to you you must arise hallelujah again he measured a thousand cubits and brought me through the waters and the waters were to my knees again he measured a thousand and brought me through and the waters were to my loins afterwards he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river i could not pass for the waters had risen waters to swim and rivers i could not pass over oh the lord will take you higher in the name of jesus christ the lord will take you higher in the name of jesus christ hold hands with somebody and we're going to prophesy combine all these three scriptures together and shout it let the pit of hell know that is your season for lifting go ahead and prophesy it's my season of lifting it's my season of breaking forth it's my season of life it's my season of dominion by the power of the holy ghost prophesy breaking forth in every area of your life i'm breaking forth spiritually i'm breaking forth financially hallelujah hallelujah let's take one more scripture revelation chapter 3 man take a baba kata la bakata revelation chapter 3 from verse 8 is projected are you ready one to read stop he says i know your works in other words i've been watching you although things are not working i watch the way you praise me through the pain he said i know your works and as a result behold see i have set before you an open door he said no man no man no government no devil of darkness can stop it lift your voice and prophesy the door is open for me that prison door is open in the name of the lord jesus shake it take it hey. sister receive it for your marriage that door is open receive it for your finances receive it for your career the door is open the power that will stop you must bow tonight oh yes you set before me an open door an open door Can we still pray through more scriptures? Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. I'll read verse 1 and 2. And then I want you to read verse 3 from the depths of your heart. Isaiah 45. 
Thus said the Lord unto his anointed Joshua Selman, whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him, and I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gates. It says, and the gates shall not be shut. Verse 2. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. You are ready to read your prophecy now. Verse 3. Shake it, baba baba. And bring the second labor carrier, baba baba. He said, and I will give you the hidden riches of secret places. Lift your voice and pray. And say, Lord, I'm ready to receive. Your word says you will smash the dead. And you will give me the hidden riches of secret places. Come on, pray, Koinonia. The meeting is already on. Pray. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. hallelujah the last scripture Isaiah 43 hmm. Isaiah 43 from verse 16 Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready? Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters. How can a man make way in the sea? Hallelujah. Verse 17. Who bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power? They shall lie down together they shall not rise and they are extinct they are quenched as a weak verse 18 is a prophecy to someone he said remember ye not the former things forget about the disappointment of yesterday forget about who said what forget about what did not work are you hearing me forget about the result of yesterday forget about what the doctor said he said remember ye not the former things neither consider the things of old why verse 19 behold i will do a new thing oh yes he will do a new thing now we shall spring forth shall ye not know it i will even make a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert i like you to lift your voice and say lord i forget about the failures of yesterday i forget about the failures of yesterday in the name of jesus what the lord will do will surpass what you expected him to do pray i remember not the disappointment i remember not the failure Go ahead and prophesy. It's a new season. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. Receive it as a prophecy. Hallelujah. May your ears hear it. May your eyes see it and may your hands handle it. I prophesy one more time. May your ears hear about it. May your eyes see the miracle. And may these hands that are lifted, may these hands handle it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, give God a shout of praise and be seated.
Thank you, Jesus. Once in a while, God gives us prophetic words like this to shake off every unbelief. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. One of our passions as a ministry, aside from helping people experience intimacy with the Holy Spirit, one of our passions is to help people understand the principles of the kingdom. Everybody say the principles of the kingdom. One of the greatest revelation in my life was the understanding that the kingdom of God is a system that is built on definite structures. For me, that was the ultimate confirmation that God is a just God. Hallelujah. The Bible says he's no respecter of persons and he does not show favoritism. Whoever can walk this principle of the kingdom earns the right to walk in certain strange order of graces and blessings and may that be your portion tonight in the name of jesus christ so tonight i want to share with us something when the lord gave me the word that he's increasing and expanding our greatness i knew at once that my job is to prepare us so that we do not miss out on the prophetic things that god is doing hallelujah thank you jesus you will be lifted in the name of jesus christ tonight i want to share a very simple spiritual principle and i will tell you why certain people rise and get to some levels and never rise beyond it if you listen if you if you listen and understand what i will teach tonight truly your path will be as a shining light we have prayed we have spoken the word but now is the time to settle down and listen and know how to align with prophecy he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you war a good warfare with the prophecy that has been spoken to you it's not enough that the word comes we must know how to align with the word say amen and tonight i want to teach on a very powerful spiritual principle write it down faithfulness 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 that spiritual formula that governs the rising of men from one level to the other faithfulness i want to show you a powerful formula part of the construction of the kingdom of god this principle was put there and if you know how to work it then you will keep rising everybody say faithfulness the first point i want you to know tonight is that it is god's desire for us to experience ever increasing success and greatness in every area of our lives it is god's desire for everyone everyone under the sound of my voice and those connecting with us online it is god's desire for everyone to experience ever increasing success ever increasing greatness is god's desire for you to move from one level of glory to another it's important that you know that it is god's desire there are people who do not believe that it is god's desire for them to experience the blessings of god to rise from one level of kingdom influence to the other say it is the desire of god to see me increase hallelujah but then this 
these greater levels that we talk about doesn't just come just because of prayer or prophecy alone there are kingdom principles that we must abide by and if we do then we'll be able to step into these levels and one of them one of them is faithfulness hallelujah there are very few teachings about this faithfulness we teach on prayer we teach on many aspects of kingdom principles and they are good but i, I will show you the all surpassing excellency of faithfulness and how it is able to take a man from nothing and take you to the top hallelujah what is faithfulness right faithfulness means continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment please write i want to be very simple so that every one of us will understand continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment be it towards god be it towards men or be it towards a cause unrelenting continuous loyalty and commitment towards god towards men or towards a cause faithfulness faithfulness is such a powerful kingdom principle that god himself called one of the names of god is faithful he is not just he doesn't just have faithfulness he is faithful that is the quality of god that makes him trustworthy it is the faithfulness of god i remember preaching a message was it last year or year before last faith in the faithfulness of god hallelujah to be faithful means to be dependable it means to be loyal it means to be trustworthy please i want you to pay attention tonight this simple kingdom principle has been the reason why many people have failed to rise from their current level of grace or current level of blessings to the next but tonight as light comes you will arise in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen the blessings of god upon a man's life always come in levels write it you must understand this this is how the kingdom functions there's no other way no matter how anointed you are the blessings of god the anointing of god the grace of god comes upon a man's life in levels hallelujah the blessings of god come in levels listen just this this revelation enough this one i just told you is enough deliverance for many people who want to get blessed you know all this sharp sharp mentality right and the youth in nigeria have this mentality the average young man is in a hurry we want to be blessed we want to make money fast hallelujah a man starts a ministry now and in one year he wants to have fifty thousand people he wants to have 30 branches let me tell you the truth if you understand the structure of god's kingdom and how he blesses men you will stop struggling in your life many of the things that people call satanic oppression is not satanic oppression is the consequence of the violation of god's order of lifting people hallelujah a man starts a ministry and all of a sudden he sends all kinds of young people to the 36 regions of this nation and say go and start the branch of the church the kingdom does not work that way in the parable of jesus he said the kingdom of god is like a seed have you read that before the kingdom of god always starts small and then it begins to rise and the factor the report card 
is faithfulness hallelujah Matthew 25 Matthew 25 very interesting parable that Jesus gave verse 14 Jesus is giving us a parable now see listen the Bible is not a storybook. The Bible is the wisdom of God. And if you follow through, especially the teachings of Jesus, you will see the order and the operation of the kingdom. The way the kingdom was supposed to function. Verse 14. It says, for the kingdom of heaven is as that means likened to a man. All right. Traveling into a far country. And he called his servants. Three people, please. Three people. Come. You are the servants. Just stand. Three people. Where's the third person? Just stand face the congregation. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country and called his own servants and delivered unto them goods. Look up. The Bible says they are his servants. That means he has been watching them. I, is that true? Do you agree with me? For them to be his servant, it means they had a period of time when they were serving him. And while they served him, he kept watching. And on the strength of his judgment and his findings. Next verse. And unto one, he gave what? Five talents, right? Unto the second, he gave what? Two talents. And to the third, he gave what? What was the factor? It says, according to their several ability. In other words, their capacity to manage that resource. Are you following me now? not according to their prayer request not according to the prayer point they dropped during miracle service according to their ability that had been proven with time and you will see at the end of the parable that the man did not make a mistake ready next verse then he left he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made five more talents so this guy went and brought back profit verse 17 likewise the other who received two he gained another two all right then the third one it says but he that received one went and dug the earth you sow seeds not talent what you sow in the earth is a seed are you getting my point you don't sow talent in the earth and he took that talent and sowed it in the earth and hid the Lord's money. After a long time, aha, this is another principle. What is Jesus teaching us here? That every time God trusts you with whatever level of grace, he will come back. There will be accountability. Are you getting my point? There will be a defense. There will be a supervision. And the report card is what will determine whether you will rise to a new level or not please listen to me and many of you you will know the reason why although you are anointed you've not backslidden but you may never rise to another level until you pass the test of this current level hallelujah so he came back to ask the servants verse 20 so he that had received five talents he now came to the master right and brought five more in other words you gave me five master i went and i faithfully used it and this is the prophet the one that had two okay listen 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 it says the lord said unto him please go back to verse 20 behold i have gained besides them five talents more let's see what the master said verse 21 and the Lord said unto him, Well done, good and... Did he say good and hard-working servant? Good and faithful servant. Thou hast been what? Faithful. Are you seeing now? That's the quality. I gave you certain gifts. 
I gave you certain opportunities. I gave you certain anointings. I gave you certain graces. I connected you with certain people. He said, you have been faithful over a few things. What's the reward? He says, I will make you ruler over what? Many things. Did the guy pray for it? Did he fast for it? He just showed himself faithful. And the Lord said, I'm ready to take you. In other words, your faithfulness is your report card that you qualify to enter the next level. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. 22. He who had received two talents came and said, you did this and that and that. Verse 23. The Lord said unto him also, same word, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over what? This is Jesus teaching. He's teaching us how the kingdom works. Let's see what happened to the third person. 24. And he which had received the one talent came. Look at the guy. This is the one talent guy now. Just, just watch carefully. He said, Lord, that's him talking now. After a long time of God entrusting him with an anointing. After a long time, God gave him five members. And gave him one year and kept watching what he was doing with the five members are you getting my point he kept grumbling and comparing himself with other people and doing all kinds of things and here's his report lord i knew that you are a hard man look look at this guy he's talking to the man who gave him the gift lord i know you are a hard man reaping where you have not sown can you imagine what did they call the money he said it is the lord's money but this guy is now saying you want me to be the one praying for the sick then i'll be giving you glory you are shining up there i'm here suffering and praying for people are you getting the point now he said it, it, it was see the bible says out of the abundance of the heart so this guy had been locked up in bitterness and anger waiting and say let, let this lord come we are going to flog out this issue once and for all he could not wait number five finished his own number two he said thank god it's my turn lord i know you are a hard man you like reaping where you do not sow he says and gathering where you have not strawed 25 i was afraid instead of wasting my time to build an empire and for you to come and say it's your own it made me afraid i don't want to waste my time doing something i will not enjoy the glory directly are you getting what the guy is saying i'm not ready to just work for you and then at the end i will now come to you and say all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god that's what these guys did are you getting me they came back and said this is what you have done but all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god this guy was angry he said this song is not for me oh hallelujah and he was telling god his own version of the song what's the version all the glory belongs to me all the glory belongs to me oh god talking to the lord now stood and looked at him eyeball to eyeball are you getting my point now it says and went and hid thy talent in the earth lo here it is collect your thing wicked man i can't be walking and then you come back and then you want to take the glory take your talent let's listen to what the master called him verse 26 the lord answered and said thou and thou wicked and lazy servant thou knewest that i reap where i sowed not and gather where i have not sowed what brought you into ministry since you knew that the glory belongs to me oh god give me talent give me church god gave you two members now you are complaining who pursued you who put a gun and said enter ministry hallelujah thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers and then at my coming i would have received it with interest verse 28 therefore listen this is what will happen to any man that is found unfaithful it says 
take therefore it's not only the devil that takes from people it's in your bible god can take away from unfaithful men and bless those who are faithful take therefore the talent from him and give it to him that has what in other words take from the one who is least faithful are you getting my point now and give it to the one who has proven to be more faithful listen all the three were servants all the three were emojis all the three were graduates right but over time the master kept studying their lives and he found out that this faithfulness this formula that qualifies men to the next level they had it in different degrees so you can graduate we all graduated from so 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 and so department and then after three years you will find out that the other person probably the one you've been laughing at are you getting my point when i heard khadija giving her testimony i just sat down and i said to myself oh god i can tell you in all sincerity and it's not because she's here while she was here she was faithful very faithful please sit down god bless you sir. hallelujah could this be what has been stopping you from entering the next level hallelujah and i'll make it very practical now so that you will understand I told you the blessings of God always come in levels no matter how anointed you are a lot of people have gotten into trouble for instance from all these these comings and all these these things that they do on internet you just go on internet and say you won 2.5 million dollars and you are foolishly smiling to yourself say don't tell anybody and you keep quiet You see that you just go around dreaming you see people shouting at you he says only a matter of time i'm coming the reason is because we do not understand the way the kingdom is built when you know how god blesses and lifts people at once you will know what is not of god is someone hearing what i'm saying now hallelujah somebody walks up to you sorry about the light i'm sure they are working on it hallelujah it's a good way to preach no distraction no looking at ladies you hear the word undiluted thank you jesus <laughs> let me use the opportunity and say what i have to say ah praise god sorry about the sound when god trusts you with small and you refuse to regard it and be faithful then you do not qualify to walk into the greater levels hallelujah i know there are many kingdom principles that can accelerate accelerate our blessings we have double portion we have sevenfold anointing huh we have the favor of god tapping into prophetic uh, uh, unction or fountain or whatever but let me tell you and listen I learned this in a very painful way look up please I want to talk to you never try to lift a man that God has not lifted you will be fighting God and you will be an enemy of God and he will curse you there are many of you you see certain people at the same position and you'll be like uh -uh. oh God but this sister is faithful God, you said you should have blessed her. And God is saying, leave me alone. I'm the one who sees the heart of men. Listen, if God does not lift anybody, leave them there. Are you getting what I'm saying? Many people have entered into a lot of casualties because they want to help certain people. You see a man of God and you say, after two years, your church is still five members. Abba, oh God, boy, you are anointed. You are such a nice brother you greet every sister that comes and god is saying continue talking there i know why i kept five people 
then you will see another person who looks very scattered and suspicious and god blesses the person i say god this thing i think we need to coordinate this god is saying who is the lord is somebody learning something tonight say faithfulness say it again faithfulness the blessings of god always come in levels that means whatever level god gives you the greatest way to prepare for the next level is not to be crying and fasting and say oh god when will it come when will that anointing come when will they start putting water for come, come and carry this my water and bring oh yeah now bring this my water some of you when you saw them putting the water you were just looking and say ah when will my turn come it will never come till you stop thinking about it hallelujah when you see the people serving it you just laugh and in your mind you're already wishing oh lord give me a church give me a ministry end this my inferiority complex oh lord and god is just watching you he say you think the kingdom is a place of joke see that that's what that's what some of us you know ah yeah the things that people think about in the house of god as a hot message like this is going on there are many people looking at so many things being distracted at so many things hallelujah faithfulness you came into a church and they say okay join the workers say join which kind of workers i was bible study secretary in my 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 local assembly i even led the choir you are now giving me chair to clean God they didn't send me a, that I would do that one. No, give me something that is charismatic, evangelism or prayer or something that will bring me out on the scene. Hallelujah! And then you will find out that you can be in that church with them. God trains you at that season, He will build you. There is a season in your life where you can make mistakes and go scot free. God is building you. Are you getting my point? When you prove yourself to be faithful, one day God will come to you and say, You have been faithful. You are always cleaning chairs. You are coming early. By two o'clock, you come. Nobody knows you, but you are cleaning the chairs. And as you are cleaning the chairs, you are saying, Oh Lord, I thank you. Those who will sit on these chairs will be blessed. Somebody may look at you and say, Sister if it's husband you want come for miracle service you know that's how people talk once they see commitment in the house of god they say the way this sister is walking i'm sure there's one brother that is i have must it be so or when a brother is doing something he says he's looking for pastor the way this guy is doing his pastor is looking for commit yourself to be faithful I've shared my testimony was it in 94 or so 94 95 hallelujah there used to be a man a church that started called power praise chapel the name of the man i don't know if the church is still there or if the man is still there emmanuel amechi ani i'll never forget his name they started the church in a hotel not too far from our house and they brought somebody that would teach me keyboard he was part of those who brought somebody so when the church started they said i should come and play keyboard when i came to the church no choir no nothing i would trek from my house with my own money and my own keyboard and take it to the church i've said it again they never gave me anything no thank you after service the only thing they gave me once was fanta and one cassette when the man did his launching one fanta bottle fanta and one cassette and i accepted it with gratitude in fact it was my father started getting concerned because i would go to a local church i would come back and then have to go and play keyboard for them and trek back home but god is my witness i never had cause to complain once listen if you are working in a place and your leaders are not good and you find yourself talking you are sowing a seed you will reap it for sure hallelujah there are people who will never walk in a place faithfully their job is to observe what is wrong why is this lady always 
looking towards where apostle sits and what is her business why are you taking it personal what is your own problem she be you came to bless god too have, be, have you been noticing whatever it says you are not the only one who have been noticing this thing rather than getting blessed listen listen rather than getting blessed you are just sitting down yeah, that's how they keep doing everywhere and you will see god lifting them higher and you will remain there and you keep getting angry because every time god comes there is a report card your faithful service hallelujah are you getting what i'm saying a sister can be faithfully sweeping the house of god and say lord i'm not doing this because i want a husband but i'm committed i'm faithful i will serve you whether they laugh at me or not i will do it and one day she's sweeping that's when god will position one brother him is coming to pray god will say turn left say lord what are you saying say turn left it's time for you to change levels and the sister is just sweeping her thing i'm serving the god of miracles i know yes i know and the naysayers and the backbiters are there watching all of a sudden you will see somebody you saw rise up to a dimension you cannot even look at them again faithfulness hallelujah come to sin i'll never forget she used to be the one leading worship before we started koinonia remember somebody will come for those of you who were there Binga, they'll play the guitar and she'll come and lead worship i will never forget one day i lashed them can you remember the day i lashed you seriously very seriously they were not serious with their work and i came that night from i came from the throne room with such an anointing and when i came you know it's not my fault jesus entered the temple when he saw what was going on in the temple say it's the zeal of the lord and that day i made sure that i told them before the meeting they must pray for one hour pray in tongues for one hour clean out every flesh that can corrupt what people need to hear god has honored her today i'm saying this when you see god lifting people in spite of your criticism keep quiet and find out what is being done that you are not doing bless you are you getting my point now say lord i receive grace to be faithful god gave you an anointing you can't heal any sick body but he gave you grace to preach you have refused to preach you don't do any evangelism say i'm tired of this evangelism that doesn't have power how about I, I let, let me shine too when i pray let the person fall how can i be frustrating myself i'm talking the guys agree with me i'm quoting a scripture he's responding back lay hands on the guy and let him wake up and know that there is a potential difference that's what you want and god is watching god is saying look at this is the level of grace that i gave you and this is what you are doing with it remain there until you learn the art of faithfulness that takes you to another level that's why overtaking is allowed in the spirit you can see a man will come and in one year he has entered some levels and you have been there for three years you get the same job in the same office other people are eyeing the boss shouting there and there this boss likes women the other one is saying lord i thank you for the privilege although they are paying me twenty thousand, i know it cannot do anything i thank you and i'll be faithful the other one is saying we wicked boss you give us twenty thousand. we are here walking you are using a phone of two hundred thousand. you are there grumbling and god is watching you hallelujah do you know god watches your works as you serve as you are faithful god gave you a little level when i started out i didn't start as anointed as this it would have been witchcraft if i started like this line upon line faithfulness i remember when we were very few those who were around 
one day we went for evangelism in Jamaa hospital we went there and invaded the place just went to preach and share the love of Christ you are not ready to start small some of you the way you start is true that God has called you in the ministry and you, you've seen the stadium you've seen yourself parking wheelchairs and you will never start small you want to start from the stadium one foolish boy brought a letter for me that they want to the spirit of God led them to hold one crusade what's the name of that place where they play golf on your way to huh? polo field I said polo field as if I don't know God you better go and settle down and start small they just came some boys said God gave us an instruction you see I saw it the other the way they were boiling as if they want to start praying I said calm down polo field God gave you a vision go to polo field see all this if you know the kingdom and you understand the structure not even visions will mislead you visions and revelations have made people to do stupid things the word of God that reveals the structure of the kingdom is surer than any dream you will have and any prophetic word you will be given God will never let me tell you take a man who is not faithful and put him in a high position it does not work like that hallelujah it doesn't work like that say I receive grace to be faithful say it I receive grace to be faithful there are many of you I'm telling you you would have left the level that you are now if only you were faithful you've not been faithful with the anointing god gave you you started business god gave you fifty thousand. you are complaining and grumbling out of the profit of the fifty thousand. you bought clothes you bought phone you are shining and you say i'm a kingdom financier god said no way you can sing songs about million you can draw dollars on your pillow you will never be a kingdom millionaire but God trusts you with 50,000 and you say Lord out of this that you have given your kingdom your kingdom and God says you did this for me and then God will test you and say lay down that Isaac and you say Lord it's painful but let it go God will say you qualify step into the next level hallelujah God made you a prayer coordinator of your small fellowship and you are faithful you are praying you are seven in the whole group but you are praying oh god bless these people may they find salvation they are walking in holiness they are walking in truth bless them bless their academics increase them there's nobody to tell you thank you nobody to tell you well done even when you know they are criticizing you when you know they are saying this ogasa this your spirituality is too much you say lord bless them i still love them god says this looks like the kind of person i can bless are you hearing what i'm saying you are not faithful there are many people who will never be parents because they have not proven to be faithful children you insult every elderly person around you including your parents and now you want a husband you want a wife with your bad attitude so that you make your child become like what you are god said no way we are rehabilitating the young people in the earth you must change before i trust you are you are you getting what i'm sharing tonight it's a very serious message be faithful stop eyeing a high position somewhere be faithful be faithful hallelujah jesus started with a few disciples and then there were so many people then there was a crowd it didn't just start with a crowd financially god wants you to be a multi-millionaire and you just saw somebody <laughs> one of my friends called me very humorous person and he called me he said josh in my presence somebody bought a jaguar a new jaguar 80 million tear rubber hi i said mm -mm, this is the devil here 
this is not vision this is the devil this kind of lost you see that your own god gave you a golf you are embarrassed <laughs> especially when you see ladies you say come and push this golf out of here now i see this not your own this is what society has made us to become and god is watching you yes you have to open the door from outside but give thanks lord i give you thanks it's better than a bicycle i glorify you i'm not ashamed of it and you get up in the morning you are cleaning it when the tire is as if it's your child that is sick you go and fix it god is saying you have this guy is faithful whenever there is anything in the house of god you say well don't laugh at my golf it's available if it cannot carry people it can carry sound can you use it and god says look at what this guy is doing all of a sudden somebody will walk somewhere and say the lord led me aha to bless you with another car and he said lord it has not changed my faithfulness and you take care of it god gave you a car in three months it has packed up you don't wash it you don't take care of the tire the cars the plugs are everything is jacking you say keep jacking you must keep moving till it dies and you leave it there unfaithfulness unfaithfulness as little as clothes god gives you clothes you don't wash them you don't iron them and you say lord you better bless me all these prophecies that they are giving god is saying what does it cost for me to bless you but you have not proven that you are faithful I receive grace to be faithful that's what I, I tell God all the time this work this little work that God has given I, I, I take it that's why I take my job seriously every time you see me I, I'm in an attitude of seriousness not because there is any human being coming to supervise me I put a sense of urgency time to pray when I'm praying for you nobody disturbs me I shut up the place and I'm praying. I say, Lord, you have committed these people and it's my job to pray. Bless them. Even those who are not tithing, let the tithe of the house cover for them while they listen to the message. You have not tithed for one year and the heavens are still opening over you. Let me tell you that it is these prayers that we are praying. A day will come, God will shift you out alone. And then you say, so this is how the heavens have been. Faithfulness. God gave you the opportunity to play keyboard you don't rehearse you are not serious you are not improving yourself you are there angry with anybody who can see there are certain people because of our lack of faithfulness we never appreciate what gives what God gives us we always want more and we are always envious and angry at people rather than being faithful intimidated by people and we oh god i want this i want this and many of us get into all kinds of things that's what has made many men of god to get into witchcraft the truth is the honor they want to get is going to come how many of you know that all of us here will be blessed we are going to be blessed the millions will come a day will come the things you admire now see I used to think I like food. It's a lie. I don't like food. Lack. Everybody say lack. There is a there is a way lack can hit you. It will create lust in you. Anything you see, it must finish before you rest. That's what was happening to me. Listen, the things you admire about people that make you unfaithful with God if you can be faithful you will walk in it all these cars you see an average young man under pressure people lie everywhere say ask them where are they walking say i'm, I'm walking with one uh, uh construction what is the name i say it's a construction company i shuttle abuja and uh, zaria so what are you doing now i came to solicit for another job is it true it's a lie what is pursuing you impatience and lack of faithfulness whereas you are working in a cafe that's the construction company you are working in a cafe and you are embarrassed by it whereas you would have been faithful god has blessed me with a job don't say i'm managing you are not managing you are creating a report card that will bless you 
Hallelujah. I'm in a cafe now. How much do you earn? I earn 5,000. Say you. What kind of, why are you falling your hand like this? No problem. Say if it's 5,000, let me give you your salary for this month. And people intimidate you. No problem. He should carry his money and keep showing everything. You just be faithful. Sister, till now, you cannot afford a withdrawal of one five. No problem. No problem. I can plant. I'm using my natural hair, but I love God and I'm faithful. I won't follow any man because of money. My God will give it to me. One of the miracles God did in my life is that I never, this craving, this craving for material things that you see somebody and say, Oh God, if you don't take me there, no. One day I went to buy suit. And somebody said, this is the fashion in town. I said, I don't know who are the day. I will buy what I want. Don't put any pressure on me. Who are the day? What fashion? Where? I buy what is good. I buy what I like. I pay for it. If I cannot pay for it, I go and wait patiently. Many of us, there are shops you cannot pass right now. You have eaten almost one quarter of everything there. Your money is not enough to buy it, but you must buy it. Every time you pass, I want black currant. How much? 600. How much do you have? 59. I say, just give me. Because we cannot be faithful at this level. Everybody say, I receive grace to be faithful. Refuse to be embarrassed at the level you are now serve god faithfully let men criticize you let men talk let them say you are looking for a name let them say you are looking for a husband or wife no problem be faithful the god who sees your faithfulness when he begins to reward you even you you can't stop it you have a ministry here god has committed two people be faithful pray for the two people pray teach them truth if you have 200 naira and they are hungry sacrifice it god is watching that was what happened to david everybody say david david for a few sheep brothers and sisters david went to the wilderness he risked his life to save a few sheep the brothers had thrown him down but god was watching him and Eliab and all the happening guys God was just watching them. When it was time for, for people to be blessed, Eliab came out, broad chested. God said, no way. These are not the kind of people. I'm not looking for warriors on the throne. I'm looking for faithful servants. You are in the worship team. They never gave you a song to back up. But that, I mean to, to lead. But when you stand here, huh, and you are faithful, you are singing from the depths of your heart. You don't just grumble and say, this coin on yourself, the way they do their things. Just a few people who are shining. Once you hear people complaining like that, the truth is, is they want themselves to be in that position. They will use a third party statement. They say, why is it that only a few decoration ladies are sitting in front? Once you hear people talk like that, they are not lawyers. They are not advocating for anybody. They are speaking for themselves. It's not like I'm speaking about myself or it's not me. I, I, who asked you? Say I receive grace to be faithful. God wants to increase us financially. But what have you done with the finances that God has given you? You keep wasting money around. Throwing money everywhere. Doing things that do not glorify God. And then you stand and believe that God is going to carry 1 billion or 10 million or 100 million and give to you. And then you see God bless someone else and you are like, ah, God. I receive grace to be faithful. Lord, I thank you. If it is to sweep, the psalmist said, I, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. A doorkeeper. God is speaking to someone tonight. I want to lift you up but you have not been found faithful you have not been found faithful the little anointing i gave you you have only been falling and rising you've not done anything with it
hallelujah there are ministries who will never experience the prosperity of god not because they are not tithing but they are not faithful they are not faithful at all the members raise offering the men of god misuse the money they do anything they want to do with it the man of god is celebrating a birthday party and they they waste so much amount and the ministry is just starting they don't have that kind of money you see that and we put pressure we men of god put pressure on people make me the biggest cake thirty thousand. make me this and this is the money of the house of god you're using it and wasting it and god says no way you can't rise beyond this level but god commits resources to a house and he's seen the way the, the finances of the lord's house are being used he's seen the faithfulness he's seen accountability god says you are ready to move higher who is god speaking to tonight you've been unfaithful god gave you one room you never cleaned it for once everywhere in the room is leaking including under the house you have never said let me call somebody to smell he says see my property this big you is in my property and you want god to honor you you want god to bless you hallelujah your neighbor always speaks you and brings you for koinonia you've never said let me contribute small foil two thousand naira you had the car making all kinds of noise you cannot be faithful god will never never it doesn't work that way who is god speaking to tonight many of us will need to pray tonight and say lord i repent i've not been faithful you want to rise higher uh -uh. you watch television and you see great people like david oyedeko and you see all of the crowds and all of the things and there are men who sit down just wishing and they dreaming wishing and they dreaming saying let's calculate how much prophet offering will come to this man now see what you are thinking say ah a man with this crowd the money you carry that anger and come back to your small fellowship and you see four people four committed people didn't i tell you to bring five five people why have stand up why have you not brought five five people you must bring five five people have you been faithful the the five people are not learning anything for one year they cannot tell you one kingdom principle you've not made warriors out of them they don't pray they don't fast they don't grow they are not knowing the lord they lack intelligence and god is saying this is the same thing you will do if i give you 100 people there are many men of god who want crowd they don't study they don't pray you meet them all the time they are snoring snoring playing computer games watching football you think ministry is just an occupation and god looks at your heart and says no i can send you to go and assist i can send you to go and help but i will never send you to lead my work you are not faithful you are vulnerable he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny listen there were times i would prophesy and speak over people nothing will happen maybe in a crowd like this there may just be one testimony and i said i will be faithful if i cannot pray for the sick at least i can pray for the people and i know god will hear my prayer god saw my heart till today till tomorrow god knows that my desire for more anointing is never so that they will say joshua selman is a great man people say all kinds of things send all kinds of text messages and i thank god but god knows for the rest of my life I remain a servant serving the house of God forget about all of this little honor that comes this is if you want it the welfare the welfare can give you when you see all the protocol standing following me ah when koinonia started I used to climb bike machine during miracle service 
there will be crowd inside and outside you just see me coming on machine shape blah, 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 blah. bless your people oh god change their story change their life and it was never an embarrassment it was a protocol department that decided they said kai please honor to whom honor is due this is over tomorrow now somebody will see me coming down from a jeep that god has blessed me with you will now be angry why are you angry i climb bike i enter taxi some of you are embarrassed to enter bus after service to go you say no let them not know that i didn't come with my car and you start explaining to everybody my car was faulty who asked you enter the bus and go home enter the bus and go home everybody knows you are still rising there is no revelation that will convince us you have gotten there we are all young people rising it's just that some are faster than others what's the embarrassment about somebody comes to your room and it's only gary you have you are hiding until the leather falls out of your wardrobe and you embarrass yourself bring it out and say this is what i have god is faithful the day you buy a recharge card lord i thank you i could afford a recharge card the day you buy a fridge see don't be embarrassed let men see you at your level now so that they will see the faithfulness of god great is thy faithfulness oh god my father there is no shadow of turning with thee thou changest not thy compassion they fail not as thou hast been thou forever will be great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness Morning by morning, you must sing it from your heart. All I have needed, I have signs provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Some of you are even ashamed to introduce your parents to other people. Because your mother sells a car and your father is a carpenter and you are a fine lady, you don't want to fall your hand. That is foolishness of the highest order. The person who played the fatherly role of Jesus was a carpenter. Are you getting my point? Get this childishness out of your life. There are some of you here, the work that you do, you wash clothes for people, is better than prostitution, is better than stealing. Learn dignity in labor. Be faithful there. You're working and they're giving you 200 naira. It's small, but the 200 naira is with dignity. There are many of you. God gave you an idea. You and somebody put a small joint for a car and you laughed. You laughed at God like Sarah. He said, God, if you don't, if you cannot bless me, I can wait. There are some of us here. God told you, I will take you far, but start selling used clothes. You said, Ha! Ah, God, used clothes. I have never worn a, a, these clothes that the one, uh, what they call it? Hallelujah. I only wear designers. Why will I now begin to sell used clothes? Oh Lord, you are falling my hands. And God will say, You never will qualify to rise to that level where you will be committed with the true riches of the kingdom some of you are you are not in any unit not in your church not in koinonia you don't serve you don't do anything your job and you've been coming here for a long time your job is to sit down watch others and complain about what is not done do you know that faithfulness faithfulness is how god blesses people hallelujah someone can say me oh god i put it as a self-imposed work my my covenant with you is that every time i will be cleaning the pulpit i would lie us with decoration please give me the opportunity my job is to be cleaning the pulpit of the house of god nobody needs to know you 
see take what i'm saying seriously if you are interested in rising to the new level there is a level of death that must happen to you you must show god that you are not ashamed of your current level hallelujah there are people in the house of god faithfulness god gave you little blessings and they say let's kneel down in the presence of god you now lay down one hand as if as if you are asking your wife out to marry you kneel down before the presence of god and be serious the one who has kept your life all this nonsense people do in the house of god i tell you papa adeboye till today he travels around the world what's that thing that they play tambourine right he carries his tambourine among the the world's hundred most influential people it has not changed him he takes his tambourine whenever he goes to a place no matter who you are he will get down on his knees and start singing to the one who took him from where he was and brought him here i choose to be faithful i will never allow anything stop me from rising to the new level that's why you can listen to a man it's not like he has so much rema or he has so much but you will just say may god increase you and the door will open because of faithfulness and some people will come on on stage and shout as if they are forwarding a tape and nothing happens to anybody this is the place of the anointing you will find the anointing in the place of faithfulness this morning i was just worshiping and i said lord will you bless your people worship was just playing early in the morning and i was crying tears were coming out i said lord there are people coming tonight with burdens there are people coming trusting god a lady came in from just i'm sure she's around this lady took a step of faith nobody no place to stay she just came in she said i'm tired of what is happening in my life how could i come and stand on the stage and then begin to make all kinds of noise that's why we pray that's why i take this work that god has given because i know that before i was born god has been blessing people and if i'm not serious he will get me out of the stage and you see let me tell you dr paul and Encher said it is god who will use the calabash to fetch water so that he will disgrace the pot when the pot thinks i'm the only one god will use calabash with holes inside and still fetch water never find yourself thinking god cannot do without you that is a big deception oh god can do without joshua selman god forbid if i die today ah yes you will cry for one week you say why did he die you go and listen to all my messages that i say i wouldn't die say till he has died after one week case closed you will fight yourselves looking for who to lead here and by the time you finish the fight something will... <laughs> ah thank you for this deliverance oh lord i have no business in all of this nonsense my desire is to serve you my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised i tell you that's that's my desire that you be praised and i will be faithful in doing this my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised you want the anointing be faithful you want greater levels be faithful where you are right now whatever department you are working be faithful stop complaining stop finding fault contribute your quota and God who sees what you are doing God gave us a word that is lifting us and that means he's calling on us to be faithful one of these days God is going to be moving across this congregation checking the report cards of men let me see your prayer life did you pray for the house where nobody saw you were you worshiping in spirit and in truth hallelujah i told him lord whatever will change my faithfulness in service 
whatever will make me to stop seeking the blessings of your people and start looking to build an empire for myself so that you say this is joshua selman and all the great works he has done oh may it be far from me if there is any prayer you will pray for me don't pray that god should give me money don't, don't pray all those things they will come naturally pray and say lord give him focus never to be distracted by all these things that cause great men to fall ministry you want this you want branches oh 26 branches the man of god now has a television ah ah my one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised is that you be praised god is talking because there are lots of young people rising with anointing and grace but you need a lot of guidance and grace otherwise you will just run with zeal without knowledge and you will crash land very badly stop mentoring the lives of wrong people who teach you that grace is grace of god is working in your life all of a sudden in two months your church grows to fifty thousand people is witchcraft god doesn't build people that way are you getting what i'm saying hear a little god will trust you with little be faithful when you are faithful with the little he trusts you he will take you higher and then leave you at that realm then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you become arrogant then you remain in that level you add another arrogance you go down small then it reminds you that god can do without you then you repent and then you rise higher that's how people keep moving up and down as if they are playing computer game but once you maintain a life of humility that's how the, your path will be as a shining light men will just keep seeing you rising because god will say the way you love me bless you that's why sometimes i worship him in your presence so that you can see that you should never get into get to any level where you become too big some of us what we need to repent of tonight is big manism when you come to the presence of god pack whoever and whatever you have i love i love i love your presence i love i love I love your truth. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your truth. If only headache is being healed now, be faithful. The day God gives you an opportunity, to pray for someone's head pray for the head don't go and try and just get up god didn't lead you you go and tell somebody in the name of jesus you are seeing the person no legs you say legs grow you disgrace yourself and scatter what god has been trying to do god is trying to announce you slowly you now went and cancelled it because of pride or impatience right two dangers or two enemies of faithfulness very quickly and i'll round up number one is pride pride makes us not to be faithful at the level that we are in pride obadiah 1 verse 3 i saw a scripture that blew me i'll round up right now obadiah 1 verse 3 is god challenging someone tonight obadiah 1 verse 3 everybody read the pride of thy heart has deceived thee thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock whose habitation is high that saith in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground your pride has deceived you so that when god has given you grace for saria
pride has made you believe that you are supposed to be in a television ministry pride stops men from being faithful there are many churches in all kinds of death now going to television ministry that they have no business going to god has not anointed them to that level yet see if god does not send you you can still move but the question is life will ask you who is sending you many of us pride pride the humility to remain at the level that you are in where are you walking ah uh, i shuttle between zaria abuja and just what's wrong with saying god is helping me i've started and i'm in zaria i'm doing something god is faithful don't say i'm managing don't use that language what you call managing is the prayer request of somebody else we are managing with all these people while i'm working on another white collar job it is in that place of managing you will meet your miracle that will take you to another level so you refuse to be faithful because you think you are managing how much are they paying me in this primary school i'm teaching primary one to primary six you are teaching them much you are not faithful like david in the wilderness if you are faithful one day god can give you your own business empire and you sit down and say i once was a school teacher hallelujah a young man met me one time i looked at him i said how are you sir he said fine the way he was saying fine as if he was going to push me he was going to introduce himself i'm so so person i deal with oil and gas specifically offshore you know i have the company and i'm doing this and that and that and the xyz said i should meet you for xyz and all kinds of stories and then i was just looking at him and after he made all those noise you see if you are blessed you are blessed even if you are blessed and you choose to wear slippers you are still blessed if you are not blessed you are not blessed even if you choose to borrow a car you are still it's not your own after making all of that noise and jargon i was just looking at this brother why put yourself under pressure if you see the kind of cards that he printed war suit pencil tie oil and gas say so i receive grace to be faithful at the level that god has has brought me receive grace oh god jordan please stand up come i know when oh god listen let me tell you something i'm sorry if i pry a bit into your private life how many of you know life way for many years jordan walked with them and served faithfully many years while he was learning faithfully god was looking he never knew that one day he will have his own bookstore are you getting my point but he was faithful i will never forget when god blessed him his his shop was so small it was like a console room a few books here and there but god is lifting him the last time i spoke with him he's already making negotiations to begin to bring books directly from outside the country this is what faithfulness can bring there are people who have been binding demons for years and nothing has happened because of their arrogance listen say in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful with what god has given me and at the level he has placed me say it again in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful the clothes you cannot afford now be patient are you hearing what i'm saying the hair you cannot buy now be patient brothers the shoe you cannot buy now the dress you cannot buy now be patient that's the second reason why people the second enemy of faithfulness impatience i always preach and i say impatience has cheated many people many of our parents are in debt of 
billions of naira today because they try to build a house that their colleagues were building that your financial level has not reached foundation enough at 50 million it would have built an estate a comfortable estate in a place I must go to GRA. I must go to my Tama. I must build in Lekki. Whereas God gave you wisdom. One small place outside the town. Six million would have comfortably built a house that you would have been renting. You've carried many families are suffering today because of the ego of our parents. Pride made them to go and enter a deal that their finance cannot take sold the car sold the house sold the property sold everything because of impatience everybody say i receive grace to be patient say it i receive grace to be patient especially those of you in business say i receive grace to be patient there's no hurry be patient a prophecy has already gone ahead that you will be blessed be patient be patient do you know what patience can do in your life the bible says follow them who through faith and patience you are in ministry be patient say i will be patient say it again i will be patient stop getting up and your body is just shaking i want to organize program i want to organize program your body is just shaking you don't have the money i want to organize program and in that program i want to invite benny Hinn. i want to invite paul and i want to invite papa you god is leading you and say invite one brother in your fellowship that god is helping say, ah, which kind of brother i want the one that the, the posters very funny things people do there are ministries that run themselves down trying to invite men of god that they do not have the financial capacity and the organizational capacity to host them they just want a name i brought abc i brought xyz now you go and bring a man from london matthew ashimolo in your small church of 100 people and now the whole bill and everything for bringing the man and hosting the man is five or ten million and you are there sweating praying prayers you should not have prayed you would have quietly gone to lagos or come down to zaria or anywhere and find brothers and sisters who god is helping say i receive grace to be patient rise gradually i believe in faith i am a man of faith but faith is not foolishness are you getting me you rise from faith to faith you rise from stage to stage there are some of us right now you are in level one some you are in level two some god has blessed you are in level five be patient in the ark of noah the cheetah the fastest animal entered there the snail also got there it's a matter of time wherever god has not taken me i don't want any man to take me there are times i have consciously refused certain levels of exposure because i know in my spirit that the season for that dimension of exposure has not come and although there is room to go by the time you go you will die that's why a man of god can leave one geography go to another place and start failing and you are wondering is this not the anointed man you used to know hallelujah i will go i will go anywhere you lead me i will go rise up on your feet two prayer points and we're out of this place i don't just want to sound what god is saying just like i'm just making noise hallelujah all those who are worshiping with us for the first time i want you to come out i want to lay my hands on you the lord is leading me to do this all those worshiping with us for the first time i want you to just come out and stand here i want to lay my hands and prophesy upon your life please very quickly we're out of time everyone if this is your first time of coming just come and line up here hallelujah 
I want to lay my hands and prophesy the blessing of the Lord upon you. God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's got a fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he will give up on you. Say, say, oh. Hallelujah. I want to thank all of you for coming. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. We honor you. We celebrate you. Now listen. When I lay my hands on you, as soon as I lay my hands on you, I just want you to go out. There is a committee that will meet with you. Hallelujah. They will meet with you and just greet you warmly. Ideally, I'm just supposed to call you, pray, and just bless you. But the Lord is leading me to lay my hands on you. Hallelujah. I like you to be praying. And as I lay my hands on you, just a touch. I want you to believe God. Whatever it is that you came here trusting God for. I want you to believe. As I lay my hands on you, for many of you, doors will be opened supernaturally. I want you to desire it. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Everyone in the congregation, stretch your hands. I will be very fast. Very fast. Just a touch. When I lay my hands on you, just follow the other people outside. Thank you, Father. Bless them, oh God. Bless them. I anoint you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I, I anoint you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I anoint you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint you in the name of Jesus. I anoint you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint you. Receive the anointing. Receive breakthrough in every area of your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive breakthrough. Let the hand of God be strong upon you. May the grace of God be at work in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I rebuke every spirit, every power of darkness that wants to destroy your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be free from any assault of darkness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I take authority over everything that is not of God in your life. Return with dramatic testimonies by the power of the Holy Spirit. Whatever is not working in your life, I command it to work now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that the heavens are open towards you. The heavens are open over you. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the hand of the mighty God, the heavens are open towards you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, enjoy unlimited grace. Enjoy open doors by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the mighty name of Jesus, may the hand of God come strong upon your life. May he anoint you mightily. In the name of Jesus, may the grace of God speak in your life. Rise from one level of grace to another. In the name of Jesus, be blessed. You are blessed by the power of the Almighty. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Two prayer points. Prayer point number one. Oh God, take away pride and impatience from my life lift your voice and pray take away pride 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 and impatience please pray it lord take away pride pride that stops me from being faithful at the level you have placed me i take away that pride by the power of the holy ghost pray I pray I receive grace to stay at the level God has placed me I receive grace to be faithful I receive grace to be faithful faithful to God faithful to man faithful in the house of God pray I receive humility in the name of Jesus I refuse a fake life I remain faithful and God will honor me and bring me to a place of prominence it won't be long because my faithfulness is my report card that will qualify me to experience greater levels of grace now pray against impatience I receive patience in my life patience to move gradually patience 
to move one step at a time i'm not in a hurry i'm not in a hurry to be rich i'm not in a hurry to be influential i take my time i go through the school of the spirit i remain properly trained properly trained to be used by god i am well equipped i move from one level to the other hallelujah hallelujah this prayer point is for those of us who have been faithful at the current level if you truly know under god that you have been faithful doing what you are doing in your business in your academics in your marriage in your life in the house of god towards god don't try to pray for eight hours every day start with 30 minutes or one hour be faithful don't bring all those religious expectations that make you feel you are getting spiritual you pray eight hours today the next time you pray again is after four months when you have one terrible nightmare you are cheating yourself you if you pray 15 minutes in tongues every day faithfully for three months you will grow better than somebody who prays 10 hours today never to visit the throne room again it's about consistency and faithfulness then grace is poured upon you and you can now move higher don't try to read 100 chapters of the bible for now you can buy devotionals buy a devotional and use you do not yet have the level of spiritual intelligence for some of you where you can navigate the world on your own be humble use the devotional let it help you when you become grown in the world you can now begin to explore you are not using the devotional and you are not praying hallelujah for those of you who have been faithful i like you to pray and say lord i connect to the anointing for the next level lift your voice and pray if you truly know that you have been faithful lift your voice and pray I receive grace oh God according to your word higher dimensions of prosperity higher dimensions of the anointing higher dimensions of influence pray for yourself hallelujah hallelujah before I make the altar call let me advise you if you are not committed anywhere in the house of God whether in your church or in koinonia here or in your fellowships or you are cheating yourself there are certain levels of service or certain levels of lifting that only service can bring you can enter your marital destiny cheaply through service in the house of God you can enter certain levels of the anointing cheaply you can enter a level of financial prowess sometimes i teach the leaders most times i teach the leaders on finances and these are things that they receive free because they are faithful working in the house of god during the retreat the workers retreat we have the opportunity to lay hands on all the workers there are benefits and spiritual privileges you will never compare yourself with someone who is faithfully serving in the house of god and for those of you who are serving either in koinonia or in your churches if you don't desire to serve leave don't be in a place a department or a unit in your church you are grumbling about everybody you are gossiping about everybody you are fighting about everybody leave leave never find yourself doing that don't find yourself opening your mouth gossiping and castigating your pastor or the man of god that god has placed over you 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 are bringing a curse upon yourself there is a there is the all-seeing eye of the almighty god and whoever is not faithful with what god has given him god himself will judge your job is to be faithful 
the bible says it is required of a steward that he be found faithful hallelujah praise the lord those of us who are giving our lives to christ there are people here who are saying man of god i want to rededicate my life to jesus or i've never given my life to christ and this is the beginning of the faithfulness i preached a message in just last week called the matrimony of love if you can get that message it will bless you four hours it's a powerful message teaching on how marriage describes our relationship between god and how that god desires the church to be like a faithful bride hallelujah when if you lay your hands on it get it it will bless you but right now there are people inside and outside the lord jesus is speaking to you right now and he's telling you it's time please everybody rise we're rounding up we want to give those people an opportunity you've never given your heart to the lord or you have given your heart to the lord but you found out that you've not been faithful you've not been faithful you've been walking in ways that are not of god and you're saying lord i'm sorry i want to make my ways right i invite you right now please come out please celebrate them as they come don't wait for anybody the lord is speaking to you that you need to make your ways right with god hallelujah inside or outside please clear the way for them if there are people like that please make sure you don't sit back it is always our duty god bless you god bless you thank you it's always our duty to make sure that we make altar calls god bless you if you are still staying in the crowd god is calling you if you share the voice of god tonight leave your seat and come out and say lord i want to be faithful i'm ready to commit my life i'm ready to commit my ways i'm ready to start afresh with jesus christ hallelujah keep coming hallelujah now those of you in front very quickly we're out of time i celebrate you and i thank you for the courage lift your right hand as i leave there's one of you here you smoke you smoke all kinds of things god is warning you the power of those that addiction will leave you once and for all hallelujah lift your right hand please from the depths of your heart you are not just repeating after me you are talking to the lord say lord jesus i come before you unable to help myself I ask you tonight show me your mercy show me your grace help me save me cleanse me from all unrighteousness tonight I declare that I'm for Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit and I make up my mind by the grace of God to live for Jesus from today and for the rest of my life Satan I have no business with you I am for Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ now let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out bless them preserve them by the power of your spirit may they enjoy sweet fellowship with the Holy Spirit I break habits I break addictions I cast out devils and every wicked spirit that is responsible for jeopardizing your Christian experience and I pray that your 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 altar call will be genuine and you will last may you rise from glory to glory in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you for making this decision please rise up